When new distributors you've personally sponsored purchase products from the company, you'll receive a bonus on their sales at the same percentage you receive for your personal bonuses. So as an assistant supervisor, you'll receive a 5% new distributor bonus. As a supervisor, you'll receive 8%, assistant manager 13%, and manager 18%. It's important to remember that you only receive the new distributor bonus up until the time your new distributor qualifies for the assistant supervisor level. At that time, the efforts of your team will start earning you your next bonus, the Group Volume Bonus. This bonus is paid to you based on the purchases made by your assistant supervisors, supervisors, and assistant managers, and all the members of their teams. As your group volume bonus, you'll receive the difference between your bonus level and the bonus level of the team making the purchase. For example, suppose you're a manager at the 18% bonus level. You personally sponsored an assistant supervisor who has a team under her. This assistant supervisor is at the 5% bonus level. Your group volume bonus will be the difference between 18% and 5%, or 13% on every sale made by this team. Now, if you also have a supervisor and his team sponsored under you, you'll receive as your group volume bonus the difference between 18% and 8%, or 10% on all sales made by members of this team. Finally, if you've sponsored an assistant manager team, for every sale made by members of this team, you'll receive the difference between 18% and 13%, or 5% as your group volume bonus. One of the most exciting things about team marketing is that everyone earns according to the amount of effort they put in. Unlike unrealistic pyramid schemes, forever living distributors achieve what they want by first helping other members of their team get what they want. The group volume bonuses we've just described are paid to you for every month in which you qualify for them. You qualify by having at least four personal case credits during the month. There are several different ways to accomplish this. The first is to sell four case credits yourself. However, many distributors choose to reduce this number by regularly sponsoring new distributors. Here's how. All sales made by new distributors you've sponsored who have not reached the level of assistant supervisor yet are counted as your personal case credits. This means that their case credits count toward your four case credit requirement for group volume bonuses. So if you had a new distributor who ordered one case credit for the month, you would only need to order three. If your new distributors ordered two case credits, you would only need two. And if your new distributors ordered three case credits, you would need only one case credit to qualify for group volume bonuses. It's important to remember, however, that you must always personally order at least one case credit per month, even if your new distributors order four or more. It's also important to remember that the group volume bonus only applies to the levels of supervisor and above, so new distributors and assistant supervisors do not need to meet this four case credit requirement. The group volume bonus qualification is applied on a month-by-month -month basis. If a distributor doesn't qualify for a particular month, she would not receive a group volume bonus for that month. However, a distributor never loses the opportunity to qualify for future group volume bonuses during any month in which she has four personal case credits. When a distributor does not qualify, the group volume bonus rolls up to the first qualifying distributor at the next level up the sponsorship line. Finally, the group volume bonus qualification does not affect the payment of a distributor's personal bonus in any way. As your business and your team continues to grow, some of the people you've sponsored will eventually qualify for the manager level. At this point, you'll begin to earn still another bonus, the leadership bonus. This bonus is based on the sales volume of your downline managers and their teams. In addition, you get to count a portion of their case credits to help you qualify for a host of manager incentives, such as new cars, vacations, and profit sharing. A leadership bonus can be earned on three different generations of active manager teams. When you develop a manager who you personally sponsor, they and their group become your first generation manager team. You'll receive 6% of the volume generated by this team. When a distributor from your first generation manager's team qualifies as a manager, his team is known as second generation and you'll receive a 3% bonus on the volume of that team.
If a distributor from your second generation manager's team qualifies as a manager, her team is a third generation team and you'll earn a 2% bonus on their sales volume. Let's look at an example of how the leadership bonus works. If your first generation manager team produces $15,000 in sales, your second generation manager team produces $25,000 in sales, and your third generation manager team has sales of $35,000, your leadership bonus would be $900 on your first generation team, $750 on your second generation team, and $700 on your third generation team. The exciting thing about the leadership bonus is that there are no limits to the number of manager teams you can develop. Imagine what your income would be if you had five first-generation managers, who in turn each had three, which would give you 15 second-generation managers. And each of those had two, which would give you 30 third-generation managers. There's virtually no limit to how big your business can grow. Leadership bonus qualification is based on the number of non-manager and manager case credits you and your teams earn each month. Non-manager case credits include all your personal case credits and those from any of your distributors who are not under another manager. Manager case credits are those generated by the activity of the manager teams under you. The percentage of case credits you can earn from each manager team depends upon what generation they are. You'll earn 40% of the case credits produced by your first generation manager teams, 20% of the case credits produced by your second generation manager teams, and 10% of the case credits produced by your third generation manager teams. So for example, if you had a first, second, and third generation manager team under you, and each of them produced 100 case credits, your total manager case credits would be 70. The basic qualification for the leadership bonus is 12 non-manager case credits, and four of these must be personal case credits. However, like the group volume bonus qualification, the case credits requirement for the leadership bonus is flexible and can be reduced by working with and strengthening the manager teams under you. For example, if you have two managers under you, each in different sponsorship lines, and each of their own teams produces 25 case credits during the month, your leadership bonus requirement is reduced to eight non-manager case credits. If you have three manager teams with 25 case credits each, your qualification requirement is reduced to only four personal case credits. And remember, the sales made by your new distributors count towards your personal case credits. Because developing and maintaining first-generation manager teams is so important to the growth of your business and ours, distributors who reach nine or more active first-generation manager teams are rewarded with an additional bonus known as the Jonathan Bonus. The Jonathan Bonus works by increasing your leadership bonus percentage. For any month in which you have nine active first-generation managers, your leadership bonus will be increased to 7% for first-generation teams, 4% for second-generation, and 3% for third-generation teams. When you have 17 active first-generation managers in a month, your leadership bonus increases to 8%, 5%, and 4%. And if you have 25 active first-generation managers, your leadership bonus goes to 9%, 6%, and 5%. This Jonathan bonus alone can double your total earnings as a distributor. The final bonus we'll talk about is the Earned Incentive Bonus. This bonus is also referred to as the Car Plan because most distributors apply it towards a new car, boat, or home. There are three Earned Incentive Bonus levels you can qualify for over any three consecutive months. To qualify for Level 1, you need a group volume of 50 case credits in the first month, 100 in the second month, and 150 in the third month. Case credit requirements for Level 2 qualification are 75 in Month 1, 150 in Month 2, and 225 in Month 3. And for Level 3, you need a group case credit volume of 100 in your first month, 200 in your second month, and 300 in your third month. By qualifying for the Earned Incentive Bonus, you'll earn up to $400 a month for Level 1, $600 a month for Level 2, and $800 a month for Level 3. And you'll continue to earn bonuses for up to 36 months, as long as you maintain a monthly volume of at least 50 case credits. 
As you can see, with the retail profits you can make and the many bonus incentives you can earn, the Forever Living Marketing Plan has a distributor level and an income level for just about everyone. And if you dare to aim high, there's no limit to what you can earn. If you dream of owning your own business, of having more control over the income you earn and the hours you spend earning, this is the opportunity for you. Take it and enjoy the new lifestyle this pure and simple business plan has given to over 6.5 million people around the world.